mention that I would be talking to uh, uh, a filmmaker today, and uh, he goes by the name of Paul Starkman, and uh, he has managed to create a movie that captures uh, something that is very near and dear to me, which is uh, the pursuit of becoming a DJ. Yeah, that's right. It's a movie about a young man, a 90-year-old kid from Brooklyn who wants to be a DJ. And um, he's he's uh, the sole caretaker for his grandmother. Uh, and DJing, you know, is going to be, in his mind, the thing that kind of, uh, I guess, for lack of a better way to put it, gets him out of the ghetto, you know. Help, it gets him, uh, allows him to take care of his family. And uh, before we even start the conversation, I got to say, this is uh, my personal story. So it is, uh, I lived with my grandmother, you know, DJing was the thing that provided for the household, you know. Um, so it, so when I watched this movie, I felt like I was watching my own story set in New York. So we're very pleased to be joined by Brother Paul Starkman. How you doing? Wow, good morning. Thank you so much. What an intro, uh, oh, DJ yeah. Lance. Wow. Hey man, I mean this is, I'm just speaking the truth, speaking from the heart. This is uh this is uh you know what this movie meant to me. It it was uh, it, again the movie's called Wheels. And uh if you if you want to look at the website while we're talking, it's Wheels the Film. No, the Wheels Film dot com. So yep. the Wheels Film. That's and that's W H E E L S Wheels. Like wheels of steel. So, <clears throat> so brother yep. Paul, this yeah, movie, yeah. man. This, wow. <laughs> I mean, starting with the way this this movie looks. I mean, it's uh, yeah. it's got that sepia sepia kind of tint to it, and yep. uh, it, you really capture uh, a, a timeless feel in this movie uh, about this story about this young man who is um, wow. you know, just battling um, not yeah. battling. He's living life. You know, it's really, and that's the part that I. I dug. It wasn't. This movie's not necessarily about some uh, major catharsis per se. It's, it's more about a slice of life and the challenges within life on the path to something and the choices you make, you know, <laughs> on, that, on that path. So tell me about yeah. first of all why why this movie? Are you a DJ? You know, and you know, <laughs> <laughs> and then you know, just tell me about the process. Sure. Yeah. Well, thanks for having us on today because I'm, I'm luckily we're here with Orange Star as well. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, yes. 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 What's up, yes, good Max brother? So, yeah. Bruh. Oh, yeah. Well, oh so man. You, you, woo, yep. you, you killed it. But anyway, go ahead. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> he did, and I, he'll he'll be. Oh yeah. Um. Well, I, you know, I I always love stories about underdogs and and you know um people learning about themselves to become what they could possibly be. And like you said, it, it is a slice of life. It's not about winning the big fight or like, you know, taking on the world. It's, it's really about the small steps in life that you take to help to take you to where you want to be yeah. and how you have to put one foot in front of the other. And, you know, I grew up in Brooklyn in the 80s. I still live here. And I've just always been um, inspired by music and rap music in particular and uh, soul music and black music. You know, this is what I listen to, what I love, what I want to put on screen as a filmmaker. I just, um, I always want to make movies about things that I care about or things that I'm, that I'm interested in. And I feel like... You know, my life as a filmmaker, trying to come up and do my own thing, there are steps along the way, and so I could relate to this character of Max, uh, which Arnstar brought to the screen so uh, so naturally, you know? Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. but oh, peace to Arnstar. What's up with you, good brother? All is well. Um, blessed to be uh, in, uh, on the call. Um, just super appreciative that we were able to highlight something that was so close and near and dear to your heart. Well, um, we know the struggle, and so um, this was really a, a, a coming-of-age piece that even I had to face my fears to even portray, so I'm just grateful. Oh, wow, okay, because uh, w one of the things that I really uh, that jumped out at me about your performance was uh, just the honesty in it. I mean, and I, and I know that comes in do, uh, is due in part to your, you know, where you grew up and the type of life you've lived. You're a dancer, correct? Yes, the, I'm an all-around artist. I mean, I'm um, sorry. One started, of the things that got you in the game and one of the things you started with was dancing, correct? Yes, yeah. for sure. The dancing took off really quickly. Um, Waffle Crew, We Are Family for Life Entertainment, um, Ellen Show, AGT. So that really just kind of 
boosted us. But yeah, um, you know that yeah started off um, move the movement light feet L I T E F E E T started in Harlem and now it's worldwide in over thirty countries. So yeah, it's a culture. It's kind of like hip hop junior. So, yeah, um, yeah, he said hip hop junior. <laughs> yeah, indeed, <laughs> indeed, indeed. So 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 your path. Tell me about your path to, to acting and uh, going and d- first of all, it is so hard to be uh, what they uh, what they used to call a slash. You know, remember? Uh, I don't know if you remember the Pittsburgh Steelers or whatever called uh, one of their players uh, slash because he had he played quarterback and all these other positions. Being so multi talented, and it was, it's such a tough thing to just narrow it down to one and, and follow one path. Um, tell me about how you know you made your way into the different things because I, I know that a lot of people have that challenge. Yeah, I mean, um, you know, I grew up with the mindset that you can achieve anything. Um, one of my biggest inspirations is, like, Michael Jackson and just uh, the way he was able to dance and sing and produce his own films through music videos. Mm. So um, that's something that I grew up just uh, emulating and knowing that there was really no cat. And so my dad is um, a part of, uh, was a part of um, Rocksteady Crew ah. um, early on days. Uh, rest in peace, Kippy D. Never met him, so he left me so much rich history. And he was an MC, but he was mostly known for his breaking and his style of just dressing and movement and present presentation of the culture and, and knowledge. Uh. And so I picked that up through my family, and I, I just carried that mantle. My mother's a singer; uh, she would tear up the nightclubs in Harlem, Sylvia's, and, and other spaces. <laughs> yeah. And so I grew up singing, dancing, uh, rapping, doing it all. And so when acting came around. Um, I had just finished Roxanne Roxanne portraying MC Shan. And, oh, uh, that was, okay, that was you with Shan. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh-huh, okay. So when, when Paul offered the role, it, you know, I almost walked away from him because I was like, you know what? I, I don't want to, um, I didn't study the crap of acting, but I grew up watching a lot of movies. And once we had a conversation and I knew we had a communication that was going to be solid, I said, I can trust this man. And this film came about and it, and it was magic from day one to now. Yeah, it did that th- this film I I believe again that your performance uh was so honest and pure, bro. I mean, you really conveyed uh the in- the energy of uh especially the new a New Yorker trying to become a DJ. Like I have a lot of friends from New York. Um, you know, uh I'm from Virginia originally, so a lot of New Yorkers, you know, migrate to Virginia. So, uh I learned some of my skills from New Yorkers from uh you know, people from DJs from New York. So I know the flow of a uh, uh, of somebody that is trying to get on, you know that that class those classic terms. Or trying to get on, you know, in in you know in, uh-huh. in a New York environment, right? You hear that, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So so yeah, yeah so you embodied that it's so well. I mean, it, because it's, it is the same kind of vibe, whether you're dancing, emceeing, DJing, whatever it is. Uh, there's this quest for whatever uh, whatever level you're trying to reach, like. And for for your character, it's really just to reach the level of turntable ownership. That is like one of the main focus. I remember I would go by this place called Best Products in Hampton and and just stare at the, the Techniques 1200s that they had in there. And, and, you know, it was the closest place to my house that, you know, had Techniques in, in the uh, store. So I'd ride my bike, you know, I was 13, 12, 13, ride my bike up to this place about, you know, six miles, whatever. And just go in the store and look at the 1200 and just sit there and stare at it. And then finally they started letting me uh, play with it, you know, mess with it, touch the touch it. You know what I mean? But it was it was that kind of uh, a thing that, you know, uh, until I, I just would not let I couldn't rest until I owned these turntables, you know, because they were the ones they're, they're the they're, and, and then and those are the tools. It's like um, um, it's like a, being a welder and that's your, you know, your arc welder, you know, <laughs> whatever, right. whatever tool, you know, if you're a chef, these are your pots, you know, <laughs> and, 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 and you know what I mean? So it's, it's, uh, yep. it, that, that focus, you, the drive your character had to one, become a DJ and then to, uh, to possess turntables so he could be the master of his own destiny was, uh, was a great journey. Now, Paul, um, yeah. you had some great, uh, actors in, in this piece. And uh, oh, some, yeah. yeah, some people that we may have seen in other things. Like uh, I remember yeah. seeing the brother from uh, P Valley. I can't remember his yeah. name in it. Yeah, but... yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. in it. And and tell us some of the other folks that are in this film. Yeah, we you know we were fortunate to have just wonderful people that just came together and just um, were excited by the material and just and and 
Um, so we have Joshua Boone. He plays uh, Max's brother, Terry, and um, he's currently in a film called Premature, um, which is on Hulu. And, uh, and then there's J. Alphonse Nicholson, um, who's in who's Little Murder in Pea Valley. We have Shirley Rodriguez. She was on The Get Down. Um, right. And Yeah, she was on The Get Down. And so she was very familiar with with uh, music and that material. We also have Kareem Savignon as the, as the the bad guy, so to say. Yeah, um, is he a bad you know, guy? Is he? You know, I, is well, it, that's, I, that's, that's exactly. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. That, you know, that, that's one thing we wanted to touch in the film, you know. Good people do bad things, or bad people do things. Life, life is gray, and and it's like um, just because you do one thing that that might not define you. That's not your whole character, who you are. So we wanted to make sure that 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 was honestly portrayed, and that like you you really like Joshua's character in the film. I feel like you know he's someone we we all might know or hang out with or um, be a family member. We also had the the lovely Dorothy Fox. Yeah, um, and as grandma, and uh-huh. you've seen her in a, in a lot of films, old New York films, and then um, we had great cameos. Lee Quinones, um, who I met on the subway, who's the star of Wild Style yeah. and you know graffiti legend. Yeah, I met him on the subway like 15 years ago, and oh, I wow. approached him and I said, "Are you Lee?" And he was on his way to his art studio, and um, once he I, when I called him about the role. He knew that um, Arn Star uh, was the son of um, Kippy D, and he know he knew Kippy D. It, so it was like everything That's was something. full circle. And he said, "Wow, I, I, I'm happy. I would love to do it." And yeah. so it was like a full circle. And the funny thing is, Arn Star and uh, Lee they never had a day together on set, but there's this connection and. You know, we've been at film festivals together and and so forth. Um, Tell us about that. The, 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 you've won so sorry to interrupt, but you've won so yeah. many. Uh, so I want to get it all in. We we you, yeah, you've please. won a number of awards. Tell us about that. Yeah. yeah. So we we made the film. Um, it premiered at the Woodstock Film Festival and won Best Narrative Feature and the Audience Award. Arn Star, myself, Joshua Boone, we were all there for it. Um, that was incredible. It was our first film festival, and then we won. And then from there on, we took the show on the road, and um, it played the San Francisco Black Film Festival, which we won, the Montreal um, the Montreal Black Film Festival, uh, which we were um, part of, as well as um, the Martha's Vineyard African American Film Festival. We were finalists in that as well. That's my um, folks, yeah. And and actually, we we uh, were the closing night film for the DC Film Festival. Oh wow! So, um, yeah, so we we were just fortunate enough that we felt that like the the film touched audiences, like from you know from the Woodstock crowd to to the older crowd to all across ages and races, and and it was just I think that. Um, Arn Star and the portrayal, Max's journey is something like we can all relate to. And like you said, it's like in anything in life, once you learn some foundation and, and the steps, you can build on that. And I think a lot of people could relate. Absolutely. Well, and I'll say this to all the DJs, a lot of DJs listen to the show. You got to see this flick. Now, where where can they see it? They can see it. Um, if you go to thewheelsfilm.com, I have all the links there, but you can see it everywhere from Amazon Prime, iTunes, Apple TV, Tubi, Urban Flick. Um, yeah, it's everywhere. YouTube. It's on Google YouTube. Play. Okay, so yeah. The, YouTube, the, yeah. Vimeo. Okay, so yeah, so that's perfect. So The Wheels Film. Look, look it up, you guys, and uh, I wanted to yes. make certain... Because I, I play soul on this particular show, but I play breaks yes. too, though. So I play a lot of the oh, music. yeah. That was, you know, uh, used to to create hip hop. So, oh, so, so that yeah. that is, you know, uh, I do that quite a bit on on this show. And um, I'm going to uh, play a song when we get out of here that uh, um, will fit right into that vein. But um, I'm really uh, I, I wanted to make certain that folks uh, heard about this film because it really, really. Um, it, it, I'll tell you this. Is how this is how much I dug it. I mean, I, I hate you know when I'm not really. It's too late. I'm, I guess I'm endorsing this, but <laughs> I wrote a uh, I wrote a uh, review about this film. It's the first time I've ever done it. It's on uh, Soulhead.com, 
And uh, that's uh, I'd like to thank Ron Worthy for that opportunity to for the first uh, yeah time to uh, to write a, a film review. So that's on again soul s o u l h e a d dot com. And um, I'm really pleased to have been joined by uh, brother Onstar, uh, a fantastic artist all around, does uh, some of everything. And in this case, he was sharing his uh, acting chops with us. Um, Paul Starkman, uh, uh, producer, filmmaker, director, writer. Um, you guys turn, have turned in a fantastic effort, and uh, I thank you for being on the House of Soul. Thank you so much for having us, and appreciate the the love. Yeah, man, and yeah, uh, yeah and, and so yeah, uh, Onstar, you you gonna you're gonna like this one. You, you might have to boogie to this. I'm playing uh, Ashley's Roach Clip. This is by Chuck Brown and the Soul Searchers. That is a uh, a way to to bridge the gap between New York and D.C. With this one right here, this one, the breaking in then this one was it was used to be yeah. You already know it. This is the house of soul, you guys. Enjoy this. And I'll talk to you guys a little bit, okay? You will. All right, peace. Peace. All right, peace.